The truth is that Meghan was so stupid and miscalculated Harry's savings. Harry's wealth and the royal family's wealth are two completely different things. While the royal family owns a huge fortune and has a steady stream of income from properties and land, Harry does not have direct financial backing from these assets after leaving the royal family. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Freya. Today, I will appear in a different role as the story's guide. And Adam will replace me as a royal analyst. Let's look forward to our new role. Adam, what news will we have today? Hello, everyone. It's nice to meet you again in another capacity. Today, we have an extremely shocking story about Meghan Markle and the stupid couple's luxurious flights. Have you ever wondered how Meghan Markle abused her friend's private planes? Not only does she use it, but she also views it as her personal property. Not only that, but we also know that there are people who always talk about environmental protection. But is it too contradictory to regularly use private planes like that? Now join us to discover the truth behind these flights and the relationships ruined by the brainless, venomous snake. There are many reports that Meghan Markle abused her friend's generosity by using their private jets without permission. Can you analyze this further? Of course, Freya. Meghan Markle's use of her friend's private plane without permission clearly shows a negative side of her personality. First, we need to understand that operating and maintaining a private jet is not cheap. Owners have to pay large sums of money for maintenance, crew, and fuel. When Meghan Markle used the plane without consulting, she not only showed disrespect and abuse of trust, but also took advantage of other people's money. Let's look at some specific examples. First, maybe Serena Williams. Their friendship seems to have cooled, perhaps partly due to the way Meghan behaved. Serena is a loyal friend, but being taken advantage of may have made her rethink the relationship. Next, there is Oprah Winfrey, who has supported Meghan a lot. Using Oprah's private plane without permission will certainly cause discomfort, especially since Oprah always maintains a professional and serious image. In addition, we cannot help but mention Tyler Perry who helped Harry and Meghan a lot when they left Canada. As her daughter's godfather, Meghan may feel that she has the right to use his private jet at any time without having to be asked. This not only shows a cocky attitude, but also reflects the way Meghan and Harry have behaved in many previous situations. They often rely on personal relationships to exploit benefits without any respect for those who help them. This feeling of entitlement points to a larger problem in the way they view their relationships. When a friend, no matter how close, lends you a prized possession like a private jet, this should be seen as a favor and not for granted. And if she doesn't know how to appreciate, then who wants to help someone who doesn't know how to maintain respect or responsibility in relationships? If Megan thinks it's okay to borrow Tyler's plane just because of their godfather relationship, then maybe she needs to reconsider how she treats people who have shown her favors. Donate. Finally, we cannot ignore Elton John, who has been very generous to Meghan and Harry. He did not hesitate to lend Harry and Meghan his private plane and even let them use his villa in France. However, according to recent reports, it seems he was disgusted with the state of the villa after they left. Leaving the villa in poor condition not only shows a lack of care for other people's property, but also highlights a part of their character, selfishness, and the habit of relying on others. According to some other sources, Elton installed an audio camera in his plane cabin and recorded Meghan Markle's conversations, in which she badmouthed and criticized Elton badly. This not only harmed their relationship, but also highlighted Meghan's disrespectful attitude towards those who had helped her. Meghan is so evil and ungrateful. I pity anyone who befriends her. This is not simply about lending assets. It also shows the respect and responsibility that each individual needs for each other's property. But sadly, it seems that Harry and Meghan have shown an irresponsible, careless, and somewhat incompetent way of life by not knowing how to preserve what others have given them. Because they abuse this generosity too much, Elton had to withdraw the privilege of using his private plane. There are no more private jets for them to use. Four trips in one month? This is outrageous. Even the king and queen who have good reasons to move around a lot. Don't act like that! Who do they think they are to give themselves the right to spend so lavishly and lavishly? The king and queen must attend many important events everywhere. 
still maintaining a degree of moderation and respect in the use of resources. They clearly understand that traveling is not just a matter of personal comfort, but also of public image and responsibility. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan seem to have no such awareness, as they continue to abuse the comforts provided to them by others without any consideration. Who do they think they are to spend so lavishly and lavishly? They seem to have forgotten that fame and power come from responsibility and respect for others, not from living in unbridled luxury. This not only loses support from the public, but also makes them the object of criticism and sarcasm. These actions clearly show that Harry and Meghan need to step back and reassess how they live and how they interact with the world around them. Otherwise, they will continue to lose what remains of trust and respect from the public and those who once supported them. After Meghan's many ungrateful and exploitative incidents, I would never let her borrow my private jet. Even if I had one, I can only imagine the frustration of having to clean and disinfect the entire plane after she uses it because she's sure to leave behind nasty marks. It's not simply a matter of hygiene. But it's also a psychological nightmare to think that she could leave a thick layer of powder on her tanned, freckled face clinging to the leather seat, which took me hours to clean. I can imagine that after she leaves, I will have to look up all sorts of cleaning options. From finding specialized products, to fumigating the plane, to make sure there isn't any residue left on the plane. No sign of her presence. Furthermore, I also have to worry about whether the equipment and interior will be affected. Because the beauty products she uses may not only the aesthetics of the plane, but also the future users. And as you said at the beginning of the video, Harry said in his speech at the 2022 United Nations Climate Conference, Our world is on fire. This is an urgent call for action against climate change and is part of his and Meghan's commitment to protecting the environment. However, the contradiction between their words and actions causes a lot of controversy. In just two years, Harry and Meghan have used private jets 12 times, adding up to huge carbon emissions that directly contribute to the problem they publicly criticize. These private flights not only create large CO2 emissions, but also represent an extravagance and lack of consistency in their lifestyle. While Harry and Meghan continually speak out about their responsibility to protect the planet and urge people to take immediate action, their behavior proves otherwise. The use of private jets is considered one of the most harmful forms of travel to the environment, and the couple's continued use of this method has led many to question the sincerity of their actions their statements. Criticism comes not only from the public, but also from environmental activists and experts in the climate field. They believe that influential people like Harry and Meghan need to set an example by taking specific actions and being consistent with what they propagate. Failure to do so not only weakens their message, but also reduces public trust in environmental protection efforts. With all that said, the question is, can Harry and Meghan truly commit to protecting the environment? Or are they just exploiting the issue to build their personal image? If they care about the future of the planet, it's time for them to change their behavior and demonstrate it with real actions instead of just stopping at flowery words. But the problem is why a person who comes from the royal family and a person who wants to leave the royal family because he is confident that he will build strong finances cannot afford to buy a private plane. Are they stingy and take advantage of people, or do they really not have enough money to pay for food, housing, or clothes, let alone buy wheels for airplanes? That's a very funny question. The truth is that Meghan was so stupid and miscalculated Harry's savings. Harry's wealth and the royal family's wealth are two completely different things. While the royal family owns a huge fortune and has a steady stream of income from properties and land, Harry does not have direct financial backing from these assets after leaving the royal family. Harry is better off than others in the royal family, such as Andrew, who is essentially broke and can't afford a roof of his own. Harry's wealth comes mainly from an inheritance from his mother, Princess Diana. However, remember that neither Diana nor Harry owned their own real estate, nor even a car to use. Poor Meghan was really wrong to think they could maintain a lavish lifestyle without abundant financial support from the royal family. Personally, I think they probably only have a few million dollars left, and if you look closely, they might be bankrupt. Oh my god. 
It's so humiliating to have to borrow someone else's jet and have to beg. The contradiction between their continued use of private jets and their call for environmental protection has raised many questions about the sincerity and consistency of their actions. Additionally, will they offer to pay for expenses, fuel, and staff? It seems that borrowing someone else's plane without offering to cover the costs involved has become a controversial issue. The cost for each private flight is not small, including fuel costs, aircraft maintenance, crew salaries, and other services. If they do not pay these costs themselves, it only further highlights their lack of responsibility and disrespect for other people's property. Or do they factor these costs into charity activities or events they participate in, such as the Invictus Games? This is an important question because if so, this not only represents an abuse of resources but also damages the reputation of the organizations they represent. This action is not only a deception, but also reduces the value and meaning of the charity events they participate in. In conclusion, if you cannot buy and pay for the related costs yourself, then use a regular plane like everyone else, like any normal person. Stop trying to show off how rich and classy you are. It looks very ridiculous and ridiculous. Adam, so why do you think Megan behaves like that? Is it because she doesn't understand the value of trust and respect? Meghan Markle doesn't seem to understand or care about the value of trust and respect. She seems to see these relationships as just a means to an end. This not only negatively affects her image, but also hurts those who once supported and helped her. Meghan appears to be teaching a fraudulent class and displaying fake wealth. She has become a role model for those who want to take advantage of the kindness and politeness of others for their own gain. Many people have witnessed how Megan borrowed her friend's private planes without hesitation, as if it was an obvious thing she was allowed to do. The lack of respect for these relationships is not only surprising, but also shows a disturbing level of selfishness. Unfortunately for her and the other discreet trolls operating in society, the growing public outrage is making it much more acceptable to loudly criticize them. It seems that everyone is fed up with the scams and tricks that Megan and her accomplices apply. However, I strongly suspect that this was not her original intention. It seems that Megan still doesn't realize that exploiting the kindness of others only brings her temporary results. And if she doesn't change her approach, she will soon have to face severe consequences for her actions. Their actions. Let's review some other highlights. Recall their famous trip to Europe when Megan flew seven times on a private jet in a short period. This not only contradicts her complaints about her carbon footprint, but also demonstrates inconsistency in her actions and words. She said she didn't have a passport while in the royal family, but was able to fly freely around Europe. This makes many people feel deceived and doubt her sincerity. Harry wasn't much better. He announced that he would use a private plane to protect his family but did not think about the impact this would have on the environment and the consistency of the message he conveyed. Would Harry use a private jet to keep his family safe? Which family? Because we never actually see him traveling with his supposed children. It seems that Harry only uses safety reasons to justify using a private plane, while he does not show concern for keeping his children safe. The private jet trips he takes often take place without the participation of Meghan or the children making people wonder about the veracity of the statements he makes. Is this just a way for him to avoid his parental responsibilities? Or maybe a tactic to highlight his lavish lifestyle? It's easy to claim you're trying to protect your family when there's no one around to do it. This fact makes people even more suspicious about the real purpose behind Harry's private plane flights. Adam, so in your opinion, what are the consequences that Meghan and Harry will face if they continue to behave like this? Is it possible that they will be completely isolated within the elite and lose support from the public? Freya, if Meghan and Harry continue to behave in this way, the consequences will not only be the loss of valuable relationships, but also serious damage to their image and reputation. In the world of celebrity and power, trust is hard to earn and easy to lose. Once lost, it is very difficult to restore. These actions can isolate them in the upper class where trust and relationships are very important. They will likely face public criticism and the rejection of their former supporters. This will make their lives and careers more difficult than ever. Furthermore, abusing the power and trust of others is not only disrespectful, 
but also shows a lack of responsibility and ethics in the way they live and behave. Harry, a former member of the royal family, should understand better than anyone else about responsibility and respect for others. But what he and Meghan did only proves that they are willing to do anything to achieve personal gain without regard to the consequences. From a social perspective, Meghan and Harry's actions are not only an abuse of power but also a betrayal of the basic moral values we all value. They deceived and took advantage of friends who trusted and helped them. This is an unacceptable action and will certainly have long-term consequences for them. Not only that, Meghan and Harry seem to be living in a self-created world where they think they have the right to do anything without regard for those around them. This is not only hurtful, but also reduces their value and reputation in the eyes of the public and those who once supported them. This loss of trust will not be easy to restore, and it will have lasting consequences for their image and career. The most condemnable action is claiming to be devoted to charity and environmental protection activities, but doing the opposite. Meghan and Harry regularly use private jets. Despite complaints about their carbon footprint, this inconsistency not only reduces their credibility, but also makes the public feel deceived and distrustful. In addition, the fact that Meghan exploited the kindness of friends and acquaintances for personal gain has also caused a lot of criticism. The fact that she borrowed her friend's private plane without hesitation shows disrespect and selfishness. These actions are not only surprising, but also show a worrying level of selfishness. Furthermore, Meghan and Harry's dishonesty and inconsistency in their actions and words will make the public and their former supporters feel deceived and distrustful. This not only reduces their value and reputation, but also makes their lives and careers more difficult than ever. Their actions showed selfishness and irresponsibility, and they need to face the consequences of their actions. If Meghan and Harry do not change their approach and behavior, they will soon face severe consequences for their actions. The public will no longer have patience and trust in them will increasingly decline. They will lose the support of those who were on their side, and this will make their lives and careers extremely difficult. Ultimately, Meghan and Harry's dishonesty and inconsistency in their actions and words will leave the public and their former supporters feeling deceived and distrustful. This not only reduces their value and reputation, but also makes their lives and careers more difficult than ever. Their actions showed selfishness and irresponsibility, and they need to face the consequences of their actions. Thank you, Adam, for your insightful and detailed analysis. Hopefully, through this video, people will have a clearer view of the situation and the potential consequences that Meghan Markle and Harry may face. Remember that each of us can learn from our mistakes and improve ourselves. Hopefully, Meghan and Harry will realize this and change their behavior. Otherwise, they will continue to lose what remains of trust and respect from the public and those who once supported them. Thank you for watching. If you have any opinions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss the next stories. Goodbye and see you again.